Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And the Avengers character that I'll be working with today is Captain America. Uh, the new movie is centered around Captain America. Um, and again, I'm not affiliated with Marvel or the Marvel team. Uh, I'm just kind of working with these characters to showcase the widgets found at MuseForYouShop.com. Uh, so I have a, a quick animation here with Captain America. Uh, so I'll go to File. Um, yeah, I'll click on the website. I'll go to File preview page and browser and first we have the shield kind of rotating in we have Captain America fading in and then we have the video uh, coming in from the left to the right um, and it's just a quick simple animation um, I didn't feel like I had to do much with Captain America so I just had the shield rotating in I had him zooming in or fading in no no uh, scaling in excuse me and the video uh, scaling in as well so you can add animation to videos as well and I'll go over that in this video tutorial uh, so I'll go ahead and get started I'll go to file new site uh, I'll click OK and I'll double click here on the home page uh, so the first thing I'll do is I'll bring in the shield so I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website and we can see the shield is too big so I'll set it to maybe uh, 250 in width and 250 in height uh, it's actually 251 in height but that's okay uh, there and yep and I got these images from Google I just typed in Google uh, Captain America artwork uh, PNG and I, I got these images here so I'll, I'll bring in Captain America as well and he's fairly large there as well so I'll say maybe 500 in width for Captain America that's still a little bit too big maybe 350 like that and I'll right click arrange send to back so he's behind the shield so we can see he has a shield uh, on this image so what I did is move them uh, behind the shield so that that other shield doesn't show and it looks like he's holding um, this bigger shield here and in perspective or in proportion it might be a little too big um, but we'll work with that there it looks pretty good so I'll leave it like that I'll put him to the right uh, and the next thing I'll do is go to YouTube um, so I'll type in youtube.com um, and I'll just type in Captain America trailer or civil yeah civil war trailer just like that um, and the one I used I like the one with Ant-Man where Ant-Man is coming out of the the bus um, so let me just find it here real quick okay and it's this one here uh, the new recruit and I won't play it um, I'll just kind of let you play it uh, or just get find the trailer and, and play it from there um, so here to add a video to Adobe Muse, I'll click on share uh, right below the video. I'll click on embed and I'll just copy this um, this iframe here. And it's already selected, so I'll just hit Command C to copy. Then I'll go into Adobe Muse and hit Command V to paste. And just like that, we have a YouTube video on the website. Okay, so there we have all the elements. Uh, for the background of the website, I'm just going to uh, click on the the uh, website here on the outside I'll go to browser fill I'll click on the drop down and select the sample color tool and I'll sample this blue color from um, from Captain America there we go lighter blue there okay so we have all our elements so the next thing I want to do is bring in the Muse Motion 2 widget uh, so I'll go to my library panel um, I'll type in Muse Motion 2 and I'll click the add first widget here uh, to bring this the to add the Muse Motion 2 widget um, and then I'll select the Muse, Muse Motion 2 uh, 2D transformations. So I'll click, hold, and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Uh, so it's going to be a sequence. So I selected uh, 2D transformations sequence because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to animate all of these elements in a sequence. So I'll go ahead and open the widget options. And here, what I'm going to do for animation one, it's going to be the shield. Um, so I'm going to set it to, or actually before I do this, I want to give each element a graphic style name. So I'll click on the shield, I'll go to graphic styles. Uh, if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles uh, to bring up the graphic styles panel. And then to add a new graphic style, we'll click on the graphic style icon. That looks like a piece of paper with a folded corner on the uh, lower left hand corner. So I'll click there, uh, creates a new style called style. And here I'll call it motion one. Uh, and then I'll click on Captain America. He's the second element that I want to animate. So I'll create a new graphic style, call this motion two. Then I'll cl uh, click on the video. I'll create a new graphic style, double click, and I'll call this motion three, just like that. So now uh, in the widget options, all of the 
uh, graphic style names are already in the widget. So we have animation or we have motion one, motion two, and motion three. So for motion one, it's the shield. So I'm going to enable rotate and I'm going to say for the rotation, uh, 1080 degrees. So it's going to rotate three times, which is what I want to happen there. And then for the duration, I want it to be five. So it's five seconds. Um, it's going to animate from, um, from that position to the position it's in now. Um, and yeah, so we enable the rotate. Yes, and the next thing we wanna do is translate X. So it's gonna rotate uh, from negative 500. So it's gonna start at negative 500 pixels, which is um, negative 500 from where the shield is now. So it's gonna, from negative 500, it's gonna rotate and move uh, 500 pixels to the right. So we wanna enable translate X and enable rotate. Uh, it's gonna rotate 1080 degrees within five seconds. Uh, so that's it for motion one. And I'll set the easing to power four because I like that easing there. And that's all we have to do for that one. For animation two, uh, we're just gonna scale um, Captain America in. So I'll click enable scale. He's gonna start at a scale of zero and he's just gonna fade in and scale um, after the shield rotates in. Um, and that's all we have to do there. Two seconds is fine. And then for animation three, uh, I'm gonna have it translate X so that um, that video comes in from the left to the right and we'll say negative 300 pixels from the left um, to the right. And then again, I'll set power four for the easing. Um, and that's it. That's all we have to do for the Muse Motion 2 widget. Uh, we do want it to start, start on load so it starts right away. Um, and yeah, that's all we have to do. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser. We have this shield rotating in. It's not rotating clockwise, so I'll have to change that. Five seconds is too long, but everything else looks good. So let's go back into the widget options. Um, and then for the rotation, we have to set the rotation to negative 1080, so it rotates clockwise, because it's gonna rotate from um, negative 1080 and it's gonna rotate clockwise uh, to the position it's in now. Uh, for the duration, we're gonna set it to three instead of two, instead of five, uh, because that was too long. Um, and again, I didn't mention this earlier, but we can see the graphic style name is motion one, which is the graphic style we applied to the shield. Um, and the same for the other ones. Uh, motion two is applied to Captain America and motion three is applied to the video. Uh, so now I'll go to file preview page in browser. The shield rotates in, Captain America comes in as well, and the video. Okay, so that's all still a little bit too slow. So what we can do um, for the shield, I'll just leave it at two. I won't really uh, change anything there. Um, and then we can set the time scale to two so it doubles the speed of everything. So I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. Shield comes in, Captain America, and there we go. So now the shield is too fast. So I'm just kind of playing with the timing here. So for the shield, I'll set the shield, uh, double the speed. So I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. There the shield comes in. Captain America and the video, perfect. So I worked with the time scale. I didn't really have to, I could have just reduced the time for each of the elements, but the time scale works as well. Uh, and the last thing I'll do is I'll type in uh, Captain America up here, just like that. I'll change the font to, uh, let's see, we'll do Industry Ink Stencil Bold. I'll center it, I'll set the size to 48, and I'll change it to white, just like that. Um, and I'll bring it down a little bit, I'll align center just like that. And then I'll move these elements down a little bit as well, maybe like that. All right, so that's it. Um, so I'll go to file preview page in browser, the shield rotates in, Captain America comes in, and the video comes in from left to right. Um, that's all we have to do for that. And I might move the video a little bit closer to Captain America, just like that. So we'll do one more time and shield, Captain America, and the video. Perfect. Um, yep, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, that's it for Captain America. We've animated Captain America. Uh, the next Marvel character I think I'll be working with is Iron Man, and that one's gonna be super fun. So I'm excited to do that one. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, to access these widgets, uh, or the Muse Motion 2 widget, you can go to uh, museforyoushop.com. And then here you can click on the pop-up, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. 
Um, you can also purchase the widget individually. So if I click on Muse Motion 2, I can click here to add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, I can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Yeah, you can get access um, to all widgets and new widgets for 39 a year. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.